Hey guys, in this video, I'll be showing you how to bypass web restrictions. Before I get into the video, I would like to just apologize for all of the random content that has been going out on my channel lately. I'm going to start getting into a regular uploading routine with some helpful content. Also, I would like to give some shout outs to some of the people who have been supporting me through my journey. I would also like to thank all of my 57 subscribers. It means a lot to the channel and me. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Okay guys, so on your computer, you're gonna wanna go to the link in the description. It will be for github.com, the Titanium Network Dev Ultraviolet Node. Now, you won't need to create an account on GitHub, but you will have to create an account on replit.com, which is completely free. You can use Gmail or whatever type of mail you use, and it, it really doesn't spam your inbox with anything. It is completely free. You can use it without creating an account, but it won't save any of your progress, so I recommend creating an account. So on in the link right here, you're gonna come right here, go to code, and hit this to copy um, this link to your clipboard. After this, you will be done with the site, so you can come over here to your replit. You can just come right here, and you should be able to see right here, My Rebels, you should just click on that. Now, if you just create an account, you should have no Rebels created, so you should be able to just come right here, create, let it load for a second, and then import from GitHub in the top right corner, and then right here on the left, just paste your GitHub link and then everything else should be the same don't change this this should be node.js everything else should be perfect so just right here import now this may take a little bit so just let this clone into your replit file and i'll be back to you once this is done okay so now you can tell when it's done when you can start typing right here in the bash terminal so it's done, so we can just hit run, and it should start importing everything. So you can see right here that it's importing everything. So just give this a second to import. Okay guys, so once it's done, you should see this little white box right here on the top right. Now this is where your actual code is going to be seen. Now the only thing we're going to need to edit is it right here in the main sh. And that's gonna give you this if it's the first time, and here you can just cancel out of this. Uh, is it X, I guess? Okay, so in the main.sh, you're just gonna wanna change this fix to one. Right here, this will automatically fix any issues that will prolong during any of the update packaging or any of the startup. So after this, we can stop, and we can go ahead and run and begin to update the code. And there we go, so now you can already see a image right here. Now you can hit this little bubble right here, open in a new tab, and boom, so here we go. So basically what this does, it basically opens a browser inside of a browser. So like it says, it basically evades internet censorship. So I'll just show you that any link works. I'm just gonna go to youtube.com in here, and we can just hit the enter key and it'll load up. Now, just be aware, again, you're just trying to open a tab or another browser inside of another browser, so it may take a little bit longer to load, but it should work uh, just like you would uh, work a different browser. So there we go, so now we're on YouTube, and the reason why I block it is because you have this ultraviolet node um, uh, URL before it, instead of just youtube.com. So guys, if you liked this video, Please don't forget to leave a like on this video if you want to see more like this, more tech tips, uh, more video game tips, more tutorials, please do subscribe to the channel. It would really help me out, it would really help the channel out, and it would really help me create more content that y'all would enjoy. So guys, see you all in the next.